Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Spectra Elite Radar Detector Detector. Uh, this is a device designed for police officers to actually locate radar detectors in areas where radar detector usage is illegal. Um, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the basic controls and display of the Spectra and just give you a quick overview of the device so that you can get familiar with how it works and what all the different buttons do in practice. Now everything here is designed to help a police officer locate a radar detector, which can be a little bit difficult to do when you've got a bunch of different cars around. So the way that it works is uh, as they're driving around, it looks like this. However, once they start getting closer to a radar detector user and it starts picking it up, this thing is going to start beeping and they're going to start seeing the signal strength right here on the display. The closer they get to the radar detector user, the faster the beeps and the stronger the signal strength. Very much like a radar detector itself, actually. Now, to help them better locate where that source is, they can actually rotate the spectra like this. So maybe it'll get weaker this way, but then it gets stronger that way, telling them that uh, the radar detector is somewhat somewhere over here. Now the horn back here, the antenna, it's actually very, very directional. Uh, that way as they're rotating it, you know, they can tell the difference between something that's strong this way and weak that way, which is actually the opposite of what you would want in a radar detector. In a good radar detector, it's got good sensitivity ahead as well as off at an angle. So both, you know, on axis and off axis. With this guy, it's designed to have basically tunnel vision. So as you're rotating it, you can tell exactly where the radar detector is. Now, as you start getting closer and closer to that radar detector, this thing is going to start pegging off, you know, at like full strength here. So you've got a couple different options. The first option is this filter right here. If you have the filter turned off, it's going to be detecting everything at, you know, full sensitivity, right? And you can pick up signals actually over a mile away if it's a very leaky radar detector. If that's the case, you know, it may make it tougher to actually locate where the radar detector is if you're picking it up for so long, especially in areas where uh, radar detectors are legal in passenger cars. You know, in a semi, it'll be illegal, and if you're trying to detect a radar detector in, you know, just semis, you may want to flip on the filter because it's going to be filtering out most radar detectors, especially super far away. That way you can locate, you know, maybe as just the semi drives past or something like this. So that's what this filter is here for. It just cuts down on the sensitivity and you start picking things up uh, as you are getting closer and closer to the source or if you only want to pick up sources that are closer to you. Now, something else that you've got is a fine-tuned sensitivity dial right here. Uh, so if you turn it up, it makes the spectrum more sensitive, but as you start getting closer and closer to the source, you're gonna wanna start to dial back the sensitivity because it's getting so strong, and once you start getting really close, this is gonna make it easier for you to locate you know, exactly what car that radar detector is in. Now, they recommend normally running these uh, the spectra with the dial set right here to about the three o'clock position. You can actually turn it up here, you know, even beyond that, but if you do that, you're gonna start getting more false alerts, and it's for that reason that they recommend running it uh, right here. And then, of course, as you start getting closer and closer, you can start dialing back the sensitivity like this uh, to make it easier to locate exactly where that radar detector is. Now, as you start getting lower and lower, if you start going, getting really low, it's gonna make it tougher for the spectra to detect anything, and, uh, you know, maybe once uh, the officer's done, they're gonna wanna crank it back up. So it's got a little uh, indicator light right here just to remind them that hey you've got this thing turned way down you're going to want to turn it back up you know once you're finished or uh, just if you're trying to detect things in general. Now, uh, besides the uh, signal strength meter right here, you've got the speaker inside which beeps. If the audio is too loud, you can adjust the volume right here and turn it down. You can turn it up as needed. Uh, this whole thing is designed to be operated um, just by touch alone. So as the officer is looking directly ahead, you know, looking for the car to try to figure out who it is that has a detector, they can just reach over here and do everything by feel. So you've got the filter switch, uh, you know, you've got the sensitivity adjustment, etc. Now, I was talking about volume right here. If you want to mute it all together, you've just got a mute button right there. And when you press the mute button, you'll see the mute LED actually light up right there. Uh, you've got two LEDs here on the side. The top one lights up in green when you've got power. The bottom one lights up when you're muted. These LEDs also do tell you other things. So uh, for example, if you've got uh, low voltage in your vehicle or if the spectra is detecting some sort of source of uh, radio frequency interference, or if it's maybe even overheating, uh, these LEDs will light up to tell you different things. So that's basically just a quick look at the Spectra and how it works. Uh, the mount itself, it attaches right here to your windshield, and it's got these two kind of adjustment knobs, um, screws, forget what they're called. Um, but the idea is, depending on the slope of your windshield, you know, you can just adjust this right here to make sure that the Spectra is nice and straight and level. Uh, you know, some windshields are sloped more than others, so that's what this adjustment is for. And then you've got uh, just kind of this 
um, screw system here in the middle to allow you to rotate the Spectra. So there you go. There's a quick look at the uh, Spectra itself. If you want more information about the Spectra or to see some testing uh, as far as how detectable other radar detectors are by the Spectra, uh, make sure you're subscribed because I'm going to be doing those sorts of tests over the next coming weeks. And I'm also going to be showing you uh, the Spectra in action and what it looks like from the police officer's perspective and how they actually use this with the different knobs and dials to actually locate who it is that has the radar detector in practice. So awesome. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, but until next time, enjoy the upcoming videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.